I love the music, man. Yeah? Yeah. What does it make you feel inside? A little tingly or? A little tingly, man. Yeah, 100%. I, I just love it. I love, I love, I love sounds. So look at this, right? Nice. We got ends nice. <laughs> with the T-side star. They're going to be going outside. Now, Tizian is also here outside watching from Maine, and he takes the head off of Alu. Yampi trying to pressure him, but oh, a great outside hole from Tizian. And this is what I was worried about. Tizian is on for the ace. And he's hunting for it. Go on, Tizian. Go on, my son. There it is. Five in the round and big lock in the pistol. Big Tizian in the server. As he uh, he gets a, he really hits the ground running there for big. That's exciting. And yeah, man, you, you think about that big mouse sports game where, where we saw it open up on Nuke and Big looked really convincing there. Like yeah. they really did. Especially when then you look down the lens of like how the rest of that series went for big. And kind of head over heels, this map looked like the best one for them in, in a very, very big way. And I hate it. I hate yeah. casting big because the moment you do, you realize how much you use the B word. Those big, big boys, way, yeah. yeah. No, I think of that one. Nice. Up. Thanks, Harry. Tizzy, a bit of a pistol king. We know his USP is dirty, and Ents learned the hard way. Well, they're going to give the pistol round another go. Glock's out and about. See some flashed outside, sees nothing. Ents waiting to just crunch the door, but... I mean, yeah. What are you really expecting from this round? Not too much. Big making some money, keeping as many alive as they can, especially, especially with three M4s. Sunny dropping main. Searson. It's going to hear that. Ooh, run boost. Oh. To death. And the bottom gets knocked out from below, Yampi. Oh, he gets spotted. Spray in the door. Bomb drop. Keto with the USP. Even has time for a reload. Enter respecting the smoke. And you kind of have to. Very unfortunate the way the bomb just dropped out the door, but it do be like that sometimes. Oh, door shut in their face. Well, yeah. Could have Good. all seen how that one was going to shake down. They have had enough. But now it's starting. Now the game actually begins as Tizian gives us a quick 2 0 for big and then to come in with AKs in the third. Well, in case you're curious and why you should stay on the edge of your seat. This is Ince versus Big. After this will be Rebirth versus Team One. Over there on the North American side of things. But first, let me take a selfie. Ents grouping rapid to smoke down for Zantares, but he has loads more util. How much will he get out? Ollie dropped. Ooh. Ramp is taken. Ents gonna molly hell. Do they want B? Tabson's not giving them much room. He's looking outside, but Sisson has all the info that it's clear. There's a silo player. That's the only question mark right now for Big as Ents meander their way through the ramp room towards hell, fighting Tabson. AK's here. Yeah, he should be good for the entry, but he's looking up. Tabson knows, and he's got the drop on him. Sunny trying to trade, and the swing does work as things stop. Ents will wait. Still got Alu up and above outside. And maybe B is the answer for Ents. Oh, Sisson doesn't see. Alu find, uh, figures, it, figures it out and finds him pushing outside. Now Ents can take low with a man advantage. Only one rotate here. Hey, it's going off in this lower site. Dodo. Doing the due diligence, clearing all the angles, all the corners. It does appear to be safe. How safe are you with Zontaras looking on? We're oh, gonna swing open here. And all three from Big trying to hold Dota in, and they will deal with him. But it is just gonna be this save. Alu. Alu's waited patiently. Save, lol. Not happening as he holds down the vents. Keto might get out of this one with the M4 at least, but Ent's gonna put their first on the board here and now.
And, uh, yeah, you know, when we were talking about the maps, I want to kind of explain why I thought it was going to be Dusk, but then why Nuke actually does still make a lot of sense, right? It's obviously Dodo coming in from Harvey, right? And there, their best map was Nuke, right? At least their most played and also had like a really, really good track record on it. And it's one that the, uh, the, the, other, the, the core events also like to play. But the other reason why I thought maybe it could have been Dust was because like we say, yesterday, Big looked very, very good on Nuke and the map that if anything, they, they felt like they, they were a little bit vulnerable on that got to that third in the first place was their Dust 2. Before that though, they were on a win streak. So I guess, you know, it, and also Dust 2 was a great map for that Harbu team. So, you know, I, I guess it could have gone either way. And siding oh. with Nuke, it's so far looking like a pretty good decision. They find another opener here. That's Sergey in this round. What a spam as well. Through the hut to take out the Orpa. Tizian's had to pick it up. The ends have a lot of room outside. They've moved Sunny to secret. Player in the back of the garage only has that main cross. Might even get smoked off as well. Yampi's going to jump around. Oh, they have no idea. This is a great position for Ents right now. Yampi's going to hold off in case someone aggresses off of the noise of his drop, but no one's near main, and so Big don't have that info. Could set Ents up for a big heaven flank in this round, but they're taking lower. As we speak, two players dropping down below and Yampi on the lurk. Now, they still have to try and get this bomb outside, so Yampi's trying to find the outside uh, player so Dota doesn't get picked up. Tabson could swing at any moment, and there he goes, in with a bit of damage. Dink down, Yampi chases him, and that's a good combo by Entz. Sergey dealing with another A player, and even though he's traded, Entz have that route towards B opened up. A bit of a combat op attempt there from Tizian. Picked it up off of Searson. Doesn't go his way. Now, this lower bomb site just seconds away from falling. Go to drop some Molotov in the vents to cut off a rotation. And there it is. They're going to get a plan out of this. Very methodical, clearing everything. No one's safe. No, not a big on the other side. But, talking of safe, well, it's a save. Big getting away with guns, moving two out of the round. Ents have had some nice, slow, methodical T side around so far. I like what they're doing. Big and broke. And that gives Ents way more room to build into this T side. It's their map pick. Uh, map, map pick as well. You talk about Dust, Harry, at least it's coming through in the series. As the finale, if we go all three. And that there, that's like a neat prospect, I think, for Ents, really. As I say, right, like looking at, looking at where Dota came from and how Nuke and Dust were like two very, very good maps for that team. How Ents as a core have looked good on both Nuke and Dust too. That's a, that's a pretty exciting idea for like the, the grand scheme of this series, especially because, you know, we touched upon this with Big played Mouse Sports. Big were on a winning streak, uh, you know, looking pretty good over on Dust. Only a little one. But, uh... Then, th then we saw them get, not like blown out of the water by Mouse. it was still a pretty close game, yeah. but a few key players falling silent right in the B site, certainly looking very vulnerable there on that map. Antares had a really rough series as well, Overall, just across yeah. every map, which is like really rare to see him uh, fall off, he's usually so consistent. So if we have him firing up today, he's 0-1, he's been saving back-to-back -back rounds, not really had a chance, but uh, maybe we can get him into the forefront soon. Or Throwing over to Searson. Keto takes a deagle, bit of a team player, but it's still an eco for big. Ooh. Fast play out through the hop. Sunny charging wow. in with the Mac, but he's going to get deeg down. This utility has done so much damage early on. These players that tried to rush the hut are almost dead. Sergei also going to take a deeg shot there, dealing with Keto. Brings him down to half. This is a, a good looking partial investment round from big. Atares at the ramp room. Uh -oh. If there was one thing he was able to do in that series, it was hold this B ramp area. And so you want to see that oh. again, but Yampi takes his head off. Oh dear. Three on three. Yeah. From five on three. Is the bomb in the hut? Like, they don't seem to be playing for it, but they think Big have it. Unfortunately, it was smoked earlier, and so Big don't actually have it currently. Maybe Tizzy could get there in time, but the info's not there right now. He's been smoked off, and it's trying to go on a retrieval mission. Tizian 
not going to be able to stop them. And yeah, big. That was the bomb of their feet. Now it's ends back with it. But as you said, the nades at the start of the round, the damage that's been dished out in high supply by Big has put Ents on feeble feet. Three players on either side, all low. They take ramp to hell. They've been given a lot of room here. Do they try and fake out the B site in any regard? Drop down Ben for Searson. Tabson's already here. Yampi's going upper, but the bomb is going B. Is Yampi going to try and get a kill and then send rotates back up? Oh, he certainly could. He's been spotted inside of the vent. Now, Big is certainly going to think it's A with 14 seconds on the clock. It's the only player they've seen. The bomb is they will deal with him. And yeah, the bomb was doubling back. You were right, but it's still going to be a B play. The plant needs to come through immediately. And Tabson just needs one kill to do it all. He can't get it. Dota with the cover. Uh, for a second, it felt like Ents were going to rotate back up, but Yampi. Yampi's death at least bought them distraction, bought them time to get into the, the B bomb site. That was very, very low. Ooh, the time in Patizian on this peak just hasn't been there. Finds oh. it a little too late and gets bought down in the process. But there's the trade from Searson. Three in the round and a third on the board for Big. A partial investment around the AWP, around an M4. Ends up working wonders for them. The early utility into the hut to put a stop to that fast A play. I remember that ends up being a very, very drawn out round there towards the uh, end in a three on three. But the intentions in the beginning of it were an accelerated play into that A bomb site. Remember Sonny running in with that Mac 10? Feels like it was ages ago now. But he gets naded out of the round right away. Followed up Deeg doing even more damage into the hut. The bomb getting dropped there, wasting a lot of time off the clock for ends. That was a, a very messy round through and through. Yeah. And even though they try and regain some composure at the end, sadly, with just so much damage done on the back of that attempt at the fast A play, kind of falls apart for Ents. But now we've got the AWP in the hands of Alu. And they take it a little more slow now. Outside smoke's going over. Yeah, smokes are down, but you'll notice Yampi is the only player moving behind them. The rest of Ents back in the lobby. Yampi has been getting up to a lot of tricks on this T side on his own. Alu finding an opening kill to Tizian through the door. And that might tempt Ents into this A site. We'll see what Yampi does. Ents aren't in a need to rush with a man advantage. And more util coming out for Big to slow things down anyway. Tabson catching Yampi in the yard. Same position as last time. Was dealt with by Yampi before. Keto above the hut getting one, but out in the sight. And Dota gets that entry as well. And Miss Smoking main. Big gap for Tabson to fight through. And he's got one. Stalling it out again. For, uh, falling back as the bomb has been dropped. And Tabson dropping the AWP with it. Sunny in a one on three. This has fallen apart for Ents. Pace would have been great, but that Molotov from Keto slows down the hot players and filters them back out door after Dota gets that pick. And ends picked apart by Tabson in main. It's another big round. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, great work from Tabson. He so often feels like a key to victory here for Big. Antares, org user. Not, like a, not something you see all the time, but he's got it over here towards ramp. Only pistols, so hopefully a chance for Zantares to pad these stats out a little bit. Oof. Only one, though, and then gets p 250 out of the round. Searson tries to rotate in to hold the ramp room, and he does have Keto here. Oh, Dota getting away with that kill and now retrieving the org as well. But he's getting wrapped by Tizian. Also has Searson still holding on to hell. And Searson just holding that line. Puts five on the board for big. A little more costly than you would have liked, though, especially considering that was a two on five. An attack timeout now for Ents as they try and figure out how they want to approach this next rifle round. Also, you can uh, join us on the fan cams. IEM.gg forward slash fan cam. Normally, it's Trace to do those shout outs. It feels <laughs> weird taking that from him. But yeah, get in here. This is the big Ents game. This is the one that we've all been talking about. We've all been waiting for. 
Yeah, elimination as well. That's always scary. Big have been dropping out a lot of tournaments early. We we thought we might have ha finally had the chance to see Big Astralis in that upper yeah. bracket, but they fall to Mouse Sports. As has so often happened, yeah. man. So it's often happening. throughout this year. There's still a chance, but Big yeah. will have to win this match. Would you rather get eliminated or face NIP with my own TV in there? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, what one? Uh, I, not eliminated, the oh, other okay. one. Yeah. Oh, Sisson, aggressive the ramp room. Sonny's here to trade, but oh, he's not going to check close. He might have a lineup two for one, but only to tag onto Sergey. Doto gets down with a double on the ramp side, and Kito does trade it, but he's stuck in the Molotov. He's got to swing through. He's got to commit. He was so deep, and now he's dead. Sonny with that kill. Taps and throws a nade, and they know he's here already, the last man alive, and not getting out much further. Three for ends. Fast around, but really just due to Big's aggression. And then it's just pounce off the back of it. Four players die on the ramp side. Whoa. Savage scenes from Dota and Sunny. Dota feels like a slang term for Dota, even though they're the same amount of letters. You all right, mate? How's it going? Yeah, no, I'm good, man. I'm just on Dodo. So, so leave, leave me, me alone. alone. <laughs> there we are. How has that happened, Harry? <laughs> oh, dear. Look no one's going to get that. Ooh, we going up on top of the garage. Searson ain't no mechanic, though. He ain't fixing anything. He's putting Ooh. holes in ends and almost through the smoke. Yampi starting to pressure him, and a tag on a Searson brings him down low. Yampi does get deep towards outside. And Doto gets down in through secret while all this is going on. Now, there's no one at B for big just yet. Oh, missed shot for Sears, and that costs him everything. And now with this outside control again, Tapson's fighting. Tizian's tucked, hoping they push into him, but he's gonna swing and catches Yampi running out of ammo. Bomb dropped, Sergei striking from the door. Tizian doing it all with the SMG. Four on two, Ents. They may have Yard and B, but they've not got the bomb down there. And Kito's keeping Alu trapped outside. Doto can't find anything because Big don't know Low is contaminated, so they're not rotating down. Kito's dropped off the silos. And Tara's on an orb. Nice dink from Kito, but yeah, Alu's trapped. Doto needs to come in and help him right now because there is no getting out of here with Big surrounding you. Oh. Oh. Things are heating up, Ow. and the Dotos might go extinct here. Down towards Secret, there's Tabson wiping them out. Six on the board for Big. The CT side looking good, as once again, the money is broken for Ents. That's a little bit rough here. I think they just, I, I, mean, I, I really think that Ramp is the key right now. Santares is, is kind of keeping up with that pretty quiet game from the other day. Like, he hasn't had the most opportunities at yeah. ramp, but certainly whenever he has been given them, really hasn't gotten away with a lot. And uh, even thinking back to that round, you know, where you have, like, the double rotate, just a couple ago of Keto and Tabson in towards Hell, where they get Molotovved out and almost die to the Molly. Like, the rotates have been coming through, but they've often been taking a little while, and it feels like ramp's you know, free territory right now. See if Ents feel the same after this quick pause I hope they well. do. You know, me and Ents, we're often on the same page. Yeah. Alu taught me everything I know. Really? Everything. Everything. How to read and write. World history, yeah. uh, current events, how to read, how to write. Geography. Never taught me Finnish, but like that was, you know, I don't know why he didn't teach me that one, actually. Ah. Well, you live and you learn. Sometimes you just live. <laughs> Pistols out for ends. Just group in in the lobby right now. Not much to do in this round. Hope Big give you more picks. We've seen... Slight inclinations to aggression for Big, where they've pushed up on the ramp with the AWP. They flanked outside. Santaris, he's dropped B this round. I like that. Sisson's taken the AWP out, and there's a lot of yard to be given away, but Ents don't really have the guns nor the means to take it. So they'll never know. Two on the A site. Smoke coming in for the vent drop. Tizian, does he molly down the vent or in front of the door? Yeah, he goes with the latter. It does work, though. It's going to keep them out for a few more seconds. But once that fades, they can try and get down. Keto's on top of the hut to watch for it. Alu 
with the dig outside. There's the spray for Keto. Citizen dies at ramp. That's a big opening for Sunny. They could run there with a bomb, but Sergei repeats and dies with the uh dies at the door rather. Four on two. Sunny has great control, but he's not gonna get much further with Tabson on an AK. And yeah, I feel like Entz definitely could have capitalized on killing the Orpa there. Maybe not wanting to rush it in anticipation of Xantara's also being there, but he was all the way over in secret. He's now come and filled that position. And he can save the AWP as well. Doto in a one on four. Can't get past the first. It's big on to another. He's stacking rounds up. Seven three. Big clan. Showing us what they're made of. That's Berlin International Gaming to all of you. I know, I know big on a first name basis. Uh, we go, I just call it Berlin, you know. Oh, yeah, man. Ooh, maybe a faster one for Ant. They've got a lot of slow defaults in this Ooh. game. Yampi's getting spammed down to one. Tabs and needing the yard. Just finding damage here, there, and everywhere. Not much onto Sunny, however. Ant's again grouped in the lobby. So, okay, had a good spam earlier. Could get the play off the roof, but unlikely. Sears is going to drop. So a double ramp setup here. Tapson's moved over. Santara's again playing that secret to outside position, getting the info yard if needed. Boost up for Tapson. Very expecting of a ramp play in this round. To do that on a full gun round as well, you more often see it on Ecos with SMGs or pistols. Tazza making the call does allow Citizen to rotate away with the AWP and assist on A if Ents want to execute, which right now, I, you know, they're not. They're just waiting for a pick. Sunny looking outside sees nothing. And Ents aren't really gi being given too many opportunities. They're spamming a lot of their ammo. Sergei's going to be left to a mag and a half left. So Ents eventually need to go somewhere. Back outside for the late smokes by the looks of things. Trying to get Sunny down towards B. Yeah, Sunny's been out here the entire time. And now he gets peaked, and boy, that's a heartbreaker. Yeah. A gut crusher. Hey, your only option really is ramp if you're in. Like, and you could execute A, sure, but it's stacked, so. Yeah, and seem very, very obsessed with this idea of getting into A. Now, maybe they vent drop here, but the reason why I'm not so sure is that Doto's got the bomb in heart, so this is the A commitment. They're going in with eight what? seconds left. They've got to go. They get into the site. Ooh. Planting now. It's all a bit risky, and both Sergei and Yampi are at one HP, and they're the two that face Santares. He's on three in this round. Oh Alu, my. where did Tizian just hey. die? He dies behind through Santares. It's left to Searson, oh. who does dig Alu out of the round, and now Doto in the 1v1. Tap on the bomb, trying to bait the peak out. Doto just hiding for the time being, and Searson making noise, swapping onto the AK, tapping that bomb again, waiting for a peek, and he reads it well. It's Searson with the clutch, putting A on the board for big. And now there, you know, Ents, it was a, it, to be fair, like that's a nice little A execute to even get back into that round, especially when you look at how many players were there for big, how little time they had, like that really was a crunch. And even the fact that the bomb goes through hot alone is something that's a little bit scary. But they managed to just kind of beat them on the back of the aim and the aim alone. The main smoke as well, cutting off guys like Tizian. Yeah, and there's an idea there for Sonny to make some headway outside, but not on the cards. He dies almost instantly to Zantares. Yeah, and I, I do like the reposition from Zantares, right? Like getting away from ramp, switching things up a bit, a bit of a change of scenery. And, and that helps him spring to life in that round there. And it's just double naded main, only did 50 to Sears, and they're going to get down the vent though with the bomb. Might be an early plant. Tapson's dealing with the lurk outside. It's just changing up every round, friends, on who's on their own. Sunny gone as well. Nice shot for Yampi. That's an orb. You don't want to give this guy his best weapon, but a missed flick. Zantares holds on to the ramp room. B plant as expected. Alu falls out the vent though, and that catches him off guard with two players on the other side. Sergei also trapped, and Keto jump spots him. It sets tabs them up, up for the trade, so it's all fine and dandy for Big. We find a ninth. Looking pretty good on the CT side, Ents. No answers. But another gun round coming up. Not so easy for Ents now, is it? Does not seem that way. 
Hello, first time I've seen Dodo in the server, I got on to cast him. At least in the end squad. I'm very he's looking sick. It's yeah, very, very cool. Yeah. A lot of talent in Finland. Yeah. No, that's the country that, like with... Harvey made very, very clear as well, right? Like Suddenly you have to sit up and take note once again. Ents as well, just like killing Harvu, take you know, yes. X7 in that team, taking the coach, taking a player, like bye, a fun X7. Oh man, the feeder teams make mad money though, and that's what you gotta remember. Yeah, shout out Trick Esports one time. Responsible for many of the great Danes we know and love today. And they want to take the secret. Two players running behind the smokes this time. That's nice, right? The one player on his own outside has never really gotten up to too much. And so they're at least going to be able to trade in that position. Searson dropping the bomb at ramp. Sonny's tucked as a player gets close as well. Searson reads it. The smoke is down anyway. Now he knows. Will he really go through? That would be mad. Five on three. Searson, he's doing it. This guy is crazy, and it works. It's another player. Even with the trade, there's two more from the lobby, and the bomb is dropped again. Big O just collapsing on Ents right now, and Alu can't even get past Secret either. This is just a masterclass. Big with the reads. Ents not leaving a whole lot up to the imagination, though. Yeah, I mean, Big just have Ents' number, and there's really no way to refute that at this point. As we go up the numbers, it's Big. They're going to be reaching that double dig. Papsen is just such a great caller on CT Nuke as well. We saw that in the Mouse Sports game where it, it seemed like no matter where Mouse Sports go, Big had the early rotations. They had the players set up for retake. They were ready for the lurkers that you shouldn't be ready for on B plants. And yeah, Ents really can't get a lot of value out of this T side. One uh, timeout left, two rounds left of this half. And at least Ents can justify buying here. Alu would be left with no warp. But you want to get two gun rounds obviously a bomb plant here would set yourself up for another one but it's not like bomb plants have been plentiful either for ends talking of finish cs though alexi b 44 kills to close out a map win against cloud nine interesting finland number one germany just that little bit better right now Oh. oh, it's a little ugly from Tap. Somebody gets the kill, right? And there's no one else there to trade that. That's one of the kind of reoccurring problems here, friends, is that so often these outside lurks are going down with no chance to trade. And now Sunny dropping the bomb in the door as well. Alu coming in late from outside is something that Big weren't ready for, but Keith oh. adjusts and Tizian deals with Sergey. It's left to Doto in the 1v3. And does he do it? No. We get the reveal right away. Yeah, no bomb plan either for, for Ents. So even though, you know, last round they got a buy, what can they really buy with? It's 35 apiece. You can get AK Kevlar. Sergey and Yampe are looking to frag out. But right now the frags are not coming up too well in favor of Ents. Not at all. Not even remotely close. Ooh. Got the double fist bump in there as well. And then still yet to have a player cross that double digit line in the frag department. Here we go. Let's see what they've got. They're going to poise themselves out of the squeaky door, but Ooh. they're going to get mopped a little bit. There it is. There's the mopping. Tizian promised and Tizian delivered. Yeah, he's been anchoring so well in this game. Santara's seven kills, but barely needing to do anything, rotating out of ramp and assisting. He's on B just in case a player made it down vents and all the madness. Doto is next to it. He has the option for a lower drop, but he's yet to go with it. Searson's spotting outside. Dota, can he get this 1v1 on Tizian above the hut? He's dropped off from the rafters. Doto doesn't know, but he's looking inquisitively with the kill. AK upgrade and a minute on the clock. Time to sweat things. A bomb plant could be allowed right here, right now. Searson can't stop it. Doto can get back in the hut if he wants, but now Searson coming in with a peek and the orb is there to play. Big 12-3 half, brutal scenes right now, and nothing feels safe for Ents. Are they going to be able to recover? You'll have to wait and see their second half, their CT side in just a moment.
Millions of gamers rage quit every day. Mountain Dew Game Fuel's got you covered. Game Fuel is specially crafted with ingredients shown to improve accuracy and alertness. Another one saved by Mountain Dew Game Fuel. Wish I could stay, but it's bad for my head. Well, if you're big, this has gone according to plan, and actually, it hasn't deviated too much from the course that you've already just set in this first half of play. Ents do have a bit of a smile on their face, but it's not really a smiling affair when you look at the score line. Big currently leading the way here on Nuke, and now they're going to get the opportunity to close it out in the second half. Welcome back, everybody, to the Intel Extreme Masters. Beijing 2020 Online. Harry Hugo and myself ready to walk you down what could be a quick game or... Will Ince bring it back? Let us know. Hashtag IEM. Those are the questions. you got to get your answers in quick, though, because this pistol ain't waiting around. Big running right into the lobby with that raft of smoke in front of the door. They want to execute A, though. Main smoke being lined up and one for heaven as well. This is quite the convoluted affair for Big with lots of utility. Uh, I can't wait to see what they've got in store. Hot. Ooh, that's a hot roof molly that misses for Tabs. And might not matter, but there's three at the back of the A site anyway. Flash won't do a thing with them hiding out. Zantara's chasing down, won't expect more. Oh, I've killed two. There's not a third. Yes, there's a third. Sunny traded, though. Alu's come up the vent. He's got a <laughs> lot of view, and they can't see him yet. He pops out to stop the bomb, but Searson drops him, covering the planter. And Sergei is trapped up in heaven. No kit. Needs these kills as soon as he can get them before big back up in a post plant. But they're fighting. They're giving him the chance okay. and Sergey taking two dancing on the rafters Tizzy is stuck on the site and Sergey just looking for that one engagement tags him down flashed off Tizzy and escapes oh, nobody gets spotted getting back in the heart and Sergey should have this one under wraps three kills for Sergey and the retake is wonderful keeping oh, ends in this map yeah Alu in the vents looking on like Squidward just watching it all unfold he breaks the <laughs> vents he runs out there nice and eventually, somehow, some way, Sergey is able to net three and a bomb defuse. We see a fourth one for Ents, a pistol for Ents, and a much, much needed break into getting this game back under control. Yeah, that's big fighting because they're twelve three up and they're feeling confident, they're feeling good. But Sergey very quick with the USP and just snipes him down from heaven. If it was a different scoreline, I think that would have been a, a different round for Big. But uh, the confidence gets the better of them. And now Ents have been given a fighting chance. Big want to strip that away immediately, though, with a force buy in the second round. AKs and Galils. And fast out the door. 
Oh yeah, full send. Sunny takes down one. Jompy with a reply as well. Two on three. Searson with the bomb in the lower sight. Godlike plays here. Terra's trying to maintain control of the vents. Meanwhile, the rotation coming in from Ince. Very winnable for Big, but Sis needs his gun out. They're oh, so okay. close. He's walking in, unbeknownst to him. Alu yeah. also finds Antares, and in an instant, it's Ence back in control. Winning the rounds, they need to win to make this game interesting. I don't think Big are going to be tempted to buy again. They, they get two kills in a plant. They're going to have some money, but you often only do that when you get three or four kills in a round like this. So Big should just be eco and giving Ents that respect and coming in with guns in 19. Wall five. What's your go-to eco strat T-side nuke trace? Uh, well, I've got a couple in the wheelhouse. Yep. Eco strat meaning. Uh, oh well, T side. Never mind. I was thinking C T side. Yeah, T side. T side. Now that's a pickle. Yeah. Vent bomb is always a classic, though. Almost ensure yourself a plant if you can get down there at least. C T side. I'm all about that. Let's go hide and lower five deep, and hope they can plant lower. Doesn't always work out. Actually, more times than not, it doesn't work out. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, that's not fair. Smoke just bounces back. Tears here with the deagle or the util expended for big. They're crunching ramp. There's no one here. Sergey is watching B until it's under control, but hopefully that is communicated across. Dota kills one A. Sergey waiting in the wings. Great position to do some damage. He's got one doubling down. Sergey winning the round by the looks of things, but finally put in the ground. It's going to be a two on four. M4 picked up. It's Antares can plant. Kito cutting oh, off a rotate, but this is where Zantares should surely be dead. One bullet in the M4. Got to play with a D. One shot for each player, Damn. but none of them connect. And ends another retake with three alive. All is good and well. Yeah, you think Sergey's going to hold that round by himself? Ents at half the score big now. And another purchase here for Big. Off in Searson's hands. We know what he's capable of. Now, what will he do with it? Silo Molly. Searson picks up Sonny in main to start the round. And Tabson just spamming outside with Keto. They're lining up smokes. Tizian's got a smoke kill into A as well. That's two Apex. You may as well commit. Big go down to B, though. I like that. We've got one player in lower. They're still walking these outside smokes and no one even knows yet. Alu's in the garage. He doesn't have a line of sight and he's being flashed off as well. Big running B. Alu now hears these footsteps, but if anyone rotates, they might think B's open for a second. It's not. Tizian is waiting down lower. There's still a lurk up in the lobby as well. Sisson with the orb, canceling out any aggression from Ents. And honestly, this is a round where if I'm Ents, I just save. Three on five. No kills get offered up. Alu's already out of there. He's already in spawn, so... Yeah, it's a bitter pill to swallow, but it's all ends have been prescribed. A three on five. Good night. Uh, <laughs> Mama, maybe Alu has like a really gnarly retake wall bang. Yes. Into B from CT. Never been seen before. Would be gnarly. What would that lineup even begin to look like? <laughs> we can only imagine. You need to land 10 orb headshots on this lineup. 10 damage a shot. <laughs> Tizian's hunting this down. Now they are kind of just hiding as they should be. So the Finns should be safe for now. Tizian's waiting for Zantares to get here. Though they're going to go in together. Oh boy. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> That's nice though. Weapons maintained for Ents. And that lets the buys keep rolling in with it maybe the good time's coming although you know didn't happen there and then did it so you never really know with these things since getting the rifles back out big have been looking good and you know helped out by getting the bomb down as well in like those uh four spy attempts
Can you guys stop spamming the chat? Look what you're doing to the server, man. Lagging it out. Yeah. It's kind of ridiculous, all the... We can only support, like, 20 characters of text at a time. Yeah. And those Kappas, they're not necessary. Ooh, see some of the Glock out trying to run the smokes, but go. they weren't down yet. He was just fighting out, and Alu finds another. This is the reverse, your switcheroo. Big three on five now. Again, Tizian's always in lower, always in B. Ambling around, but Sergei's looking at the ramp room and the radio. They're not going to hunt him down, but they are positioned to cut him off. On this rotate, how free will he think it can be? Because Tizian is very deep with this plant. Ents should be able to play together, though. Sergei can wait for his two teammates coming through the lobby. Very slow retake. Ents walking everywhere, not wanting to give up much. And the barrel gives away Tizian. Sergei with the spot and the shot. Five on two on the retake. Ents, no way they lose this. Tapson. He's got his work cut out for him because you're bang on. The odds overwhelmingly in favor of Ents. A lot of damage done. Tapson oh. with the spray. And Zantara is helping out as well. Oh, Alu with the retake coming in through. Oh, the they doors, want it. But there's no time. Oh, no. That was a 2v5. I felt like I was cursing it when I said that because I said it. I looked at the players. I was like, Tapson, Zantara, what have I done? Oh, dear. A two on five holding the b-site and yeah and they're, they're walking and they're taking their sweet time and it really does cost them obviously the element of surprise is nice but it doesn't do much when taps and lines you up like that on the ramp and what a round to win all the kills for Ents, but none of the time to defuse that bomb oof oof this wasn't reaching the end then that might just send it over the line At 14 6. Not much more wiggle room here for Ents. Dodo on the auto shotgun, AWP on Alu. And outside, fully compromised at this point. Sunny is close by. They're going to have Dodo in mini to be able to pivot, but no one's going to give them a fight. Ents turtling up. Oh, they don't need this boost, but it might work out. There it is, Sisson <laughs> finding this shot. Sergey was taking the fight, and now he's gone, giving B the open B bomb site. Giving B, giving big, basically B at this point. Rotate on ramp, nice shot for Alu. He's got the one AWP in this round. He needs to do so much, and he's already starting off strong. Two shots, a third for Alu, oh. and the bomb is loose. Ends in a four on two. Now, this is one they really shouldn't lose, but we've seen it before and maybe we'll see it again. Oh, Alu goes for the ace. Tizian coming down the vents. Last alive, last remaining chance for big in this round. Oh. Takes down Jompy. Alan 26 HP starts to aggress through Decon. Nice. Alu gets his ace at the end of it all anyway. Alu single-handedly holding that round together with his AWP from the ramp room. Out time. Nice to see him styling. Been a bit quiet this game. Still a long road to recovery for Ents here, right? Half the score of their opponents, at least with the money broken. Oh, it's the A flash. Straight through the hut they go. Bigger running wild. The Molly's down, though. They're trapped in the hut right now. Yampi needs a reload, but he can also drop utility that could be huge. Nade dunking. Sunny doubling. And Dota should have the spray. He does. It's ends up to eight and a flawless anti eco to get them there. Big go back for another purchase. Let's see what they've got this time around. Get mopped up on the floors of Nuke. The upper site, that is. Yeah, that's true. There is floor on every level. Yes. Outside smokes, and there's only be one member of Big Clan represented out here, Tapson. He's pushed up close. Did he see? Yes, he did. Sunny goes. Dodo follows. Takes him down to Tapson. The bomb is B. Tizian is so good at wrangling his way down lower. 
Nice try for Sergei, but traded after one, and that ramp kill is massive as now they can play the post plant that Tizzy and set them up for. <laughs> a little bit of a jump spot there for Tizian proves to be a fatal error. Oh, not gonna be the only one that falls. Searson now out of the round. Now this is where it gets a little dicey. Keto in a one-on-two. He's got to go double if he wants the bomb for him. Yeah, not looking good. Oh, he could get him off the bomb one second. And Alu has a defuse. That's uh, uncomfortably close. And yeah, Big needed to come through the ramp room there, really, uh, with with that pick coming through from Keto or Trade, rather. That was the, the one place that the bomb was really good for. But two players coming down, Vance, Searson and Tizian, both gone. Not Tizian, rather. Some weird rounds we're seeing, but th these are the kind of rounds you get when you're in the lead, when you feel like you can uh, loosen up a little bit, go a bit wild, plant the bomb when no one else is with you at B. Sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't. And Big now, maybe getting a little close for comfort. It's always nice where, you know, in, in a team like Hens, where the kind of mean age is like 21.8, just work that out quick. You know, you've got guys like Alu who are what, 28 years old, still able to, to hang it with the cool, fresh youngsters. By the way, him and him and Sonny really pushed that, that average age up. If you look at the other three, <laughs> right, rub it in, yeah. you've got two 18 on, then, Harry. and a 19 year old. This is 23.5 here. Oh, Hugo, man. So I don't respect your maths. It's not my maths, but uh, that's fine. Quick maths. What averaging method are they using? I don't know, Harry. Okay. I, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, well, you don't ever listen to anything either. where it just says average. You don't even know what they're on about. Could be median, could be mean, could be the other mode. one. But, yeah, mode, yeah. that's it. Searson, outside. <laughs> I have to go full on. Searson mode in this one. Tabson down through hell, trying to grab ramp control. Sergey is going to check it. Ooh. And the aim punch sends his aim to the sky and beyond. And now Big will need a medium to get the in-game leading for Tabson ah, in this ah, round. That's good. All right. All right. What's the other one again? Mean. mean. And that's what Searson's looking right now. Into this A site. Santares on the AWP. Going to deal with Sonny. No, Searson. You can't have the AWP. I'm an AWP now. No, Play with a scout. No, no. It makes sense though, right? Sisson's not got armor, and Sisson's good with the scout as well. We know what he can do, but Santara's looking at the wrong side, going for the plant. Sisson turns back, he's getting spammed. That's un unfortunate, but still, it could be around for big if Sisson can find something incredible. Scout on the B side, they tap it. Yampi hit. Sisson can't finish the job, and ends fine double digits after all. It's taken a little while, but they did get there. 14 to 10 in classic ends fashion, running it back up. They're going to need an answer pretty soon just to push themselves on to tie. Yeah, Big have been trading Sergey pretty well at ramp. I'd like to see them do it, do it, you know, harder, faster, and with more numbers. And they might just be able to get a quick B plant. Tizzy's been great on these vent drops, though. And Big, outside control has often been conceded. We've not really seen Alu find much, if anything, there. This time he's dropped B. So Alu switching things up could be great as Big run the smokes and head towards secret. Tizzy and keeping up the pressure in A. Sunny sees nothing, but even if he peeked out, the smokes would elude him, and Keto plays a lurk behind main. Got to get past Alu, though. Easier said than done with this AWP. Tizian eats a flashbang there. Jumpy getting inquisitive inside of the hut. It doesn't really matter, all things considered, at this point. Still looks like attending A. Hmm. Sunny from outside. Take some shots towards the back. Lands on the Keto. Oof. Seemingly no response from Big from it. He's still lingering around the blue box. 
They can get picked to Palmer. They try to commit to A. They, they lose to a close garage player, and they all come back to try and fight Sonny, and no one's even found him. No one's even seen him. He is just evading capture right now, and Tizian's looking for an A pick, but it's a desperate uh, attempt. It's a desperate round. Oh, He's been this. spotted by the Yump, by Yamp. And now Zantaris coming into heaven has at least bypassed the player in garage, but that bomb is still loose. Zantaris needs two. He spots them both. There's one. Flashed out, though, by Yampi's flash. Oh, dear. Zantaris doubles it up. 20 seconds. Sonny still has this bomb. Sonny needs to do it all. They try to jump across to get it, but they have to go outside. Oh, no. There's, no, there's no dodging it, Tizzy. Oh, that's oh, crazy. He jumped, and he does get it, but then falling immediately after. Zantaris having to leave heaven, and there's just not enough time. Ed's what? put 11 on the board. And also, Hugo, I solved a little maths problem there. You rat. Oh, okay. Try to oh call me God. out, right? Yeah, rat. 23 and a half. Do you want to know why it says that on HL TV, Why's mate? Because that? that's counting when Ariel was in the team, and now he's not in the team anymore. I know it doesn't say it at the top of the screen, Hugo, but I just worked out the average ages, so... Oh, well, Harry, Sorry, congratulations. Forward your complaints to HL TV, not me, because it oh, does list Dota. You have to bring it up. Hey, you guys. have to call me out. Kids. I wasn't calling you out. Kids. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Go to your rooms. <laughs> All right, peace. After the game. Oh, hey, I'm back. Damn. How are you grounded? You can't ground him. You're grounded. Speaking of being grounded, big have been just that. He planted all over Nuke. Ooh. Now there's a shot, Sonny. Balls is on Tarez. Tizian living in the vents as he so often is. Bomb plant is open for ramp. Keto needs to have Searson's back. Um, well, he did. <laughs> and Searson was like, here's the ultimate test. I'll run out into the open and you've got me, right? And then Keto just lets him die. Not really Keto's fault. Now this two on three, two at ramp, but it's this late lurk from Doto. Oh Tizian is not ready for it. He's getting wrapped in through decon. Tizian needs to check and he's not going to till it's too late. Keto caught out in the open and hence move in with the 12th. Oh boy. What's happening? This is one hell of a comeback from the end squad. Big looking very, very loose in these last few rounds, right? And this is like one of the one of the more obvious ones where we've had like a nice sense of direction out of it. But even then, a lot of casualties taken over towards the A side of the map before they even get into B. And they're just like getting picked apart in the mid round. They're always trying to play these rounds out in man disadvantage scenarios, even if they are getting that bomb down. Well, Pig, they've said it, and this is a testament to it. Monka S. They've allowed Ints to get back into this game. Now the momentum purely on the Ints side. For Big, they've only grabbed themselves two rounds in this half. And that's rough, especially from a 12-3 first half. It's just sitting on 14-12. It's kind of unreal like it didn't it didn't really feel that feasible and now here they are right just two behind big and the question is going to eventually become right like was this all in vain or do ends end up sneaking this one over the finish line <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh sonny Good one. what a guy opens up the round with a kill on a tizzy and, and no trade in sight for big now searson Wagging his way towards outside. Alu spotted down here in hell, and the flash is going to hold back this big offensive. Four on five, still a shot for big. Oh, I like that smoke. They can split into main, but I say the word split. It's all four outside right now. So do they really want to just run through the choke point into the waiting arms event? Seems like the play. Doto is so ready. 23 kills. He's having a hell of a game. Alu open outside. Now knows they could be close and backs up, but they are getting closer by the second. Wrapping his left side. Up the ladder he goes. Three on five. Very difficult round for big here. They could wrap Sergey, right? Like, hopefully that call's been made. Sergey's going to drop a smoke, but now needs to look towards hell. Big gap in the smoke could draw his attention away, but he gets one for one. And out of 
at an advantage like this. That's a great trade. Keeping Ents in this round. Sonny's ready to stop oh. the bomb plant, and this should surely be his. Searson needs a flick. Smoke on the door is good. That will buy Tapson the plant. Sonny's going to spam, and it's very close, but no kill. Tapson gets out only just as they jump through the door. They won't let him live long. Searson in a one on four. We've seen Chris do it, though, from this position. Bomb is good for him, but he's looking from the wrong side and can't see anyone. Yampy in the smoke, and this is it. This is Ents on 13. Searson can't do a thing, even orped out of the round. And this this has been one unbelievable comeback for Enz. They needed every single round they've got up to this point, and now with just earshot of big. And another tactical timeout for that Pearl International Gaming side. Well, that was scary. <laughs> it's not done yeah, yet. We've hidden little jump scares throughout this street for Halloween purposes. Halloween now over a month ago, or not over, I guess. You guys got some math on that one too you can work out? Jesus. See, I've done the calculations, Harry, and this is why you're wrong. Yeah, but that's the beauty of it, Hugo. You haven't done any calculations. Yeah, I just read a number, man. Sometimes I, I believe what I read, and I guess that's, that's what you're me. going wrong, man. Think yeah. think for yourself. Think outside of the box. That's think you're a loser, thing. Harry. Oh, oh well. <laughs> you see smiling, it's all fun in games. You're smiling. Harry's pissed off. He perished. Crying. Go on, Harry, cast this round. Well, seeing as you are so nicely, Hugo. <laughs> Big have gone in with this, like, partial investment. You know, you, 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 this is not a nice spot to be in. You can feel the momentum has picked up massively for ends. Like, the trades haven't even been there for Big. That was something that they were doing so well early on. And so finally, we're just going to see five big players grouped up trying to move in together. And I like this. It feels like these lurks have often often just led to players falling out of the round without having any impact. So they take a bit, bit more of a reserved approach here. Alu waiting with the AWP outside, just deletes Tabson. No chance at a trade. Smoke's going down. Big going to try and move in behind them, but Sunny is waiting in hell, and this is a very good read from Enz. That's a free kill there. Double up for Sunny. And even though the trade comes through, it's a two on four. Make that 1v4. Doto with the push out through main. Rough waters. 14 all. All of you guys discounting Ents for being finished. Yeah, I just don't really know what's going on with Big. It doesn't seem like the usual team that we that we see on this map. They had a great CT side. Everything felt good. Individuals are there. It, it looks like it has taken and some time to warm up. And hell, that's coming through at the perfect time. Alu's AWP has been lights out. Searson's been pretty quiet in this second half. And even though I say that, he's top of the board. Still not enough for Big in this round or in this map rather 14 all if big close it here that's the biggest middle finger to ends going into big's map pick so let's see where this one works out and just like we were saying they are getting picked apart everywhere they go seemingly one by one it's kind of hard to tell if that's ends playing up to par or big just fumbling a t side here Oh, Alu well. outside with an op. Rings out from the big garage. Yeah, Alu just hasn't been missing, man. He's looked so good in this second half. And so outside, he's just kind of been off the cards for big. And if, they ever, if, if ever they have tried to go there, it's often been, you know, losing one or two players in the process with nothing to respond with. Alu keeping this very kind of aggressive hold all across the map in play he's already ready to rotate down to be if he's needed oh. and he might not even be needed searson will at least get the trade but how many two on fours have we seen now for big this yeah. is every time they get this bomb down it's in a 2v4 trying to hold off against impossible odds and this round is no different tabson trying to lock down ramp but he's missed that timing onto alu who's hit him right now these slow retakes from ends it's burned them once but for the most part, it's often kind of led success to come their way. Tabson now going to discount this ramp position as Alu is moving in. Searson nails that opener, right. and Alu's making noise. So Tabson doubles back. Doto left in the 1v2, Ooh. and Tabson with the ramp, he oh. pulls it off. Finally, we have one of these huge disadvantage oh. post plants go in favor of Big, and it's another round where you're just relying on individuals to hold true.
Similar to that, you know, 2v4 from Tabson and Zantares. We get one now from Tabson and Searson. Yeah, Alu, I, I love the play on stalling it out there. Like, Ents have been so good at, uh, at, at peeling back when they have the advantages, and, and that's why we see these two on four, two on five post pawns, because Big can't get kills back in the round. That, though, Alu, he waits so long, and then he runs and taps and hears every footstep. Oh, the orb spam. Searson getting a tag. Sunny low. Sergei fighting from the ramp side, spamming the smoke. Dota with an advantage, dropping the bomb in the door. He never even saw his opponent, but he'll take it. Oh, bye, Sunny. Yard is conceded. That's a huge pick for Tabson to find. He now has so much room, and he's called his team to back up. You can see them turtling into the lobby now as Tabson gets loads of space outside. He's clearing secret. He's going to fight the Orp of Alu. Not an easy engagement, and he gets punished for it. Four on three. If he wrapped heaven, that could have been the map. Right now, overtime is looking likely, and Sergei's trying to get us there. Again, getting one, falling off. It's the code for Ents. It's the way of play, as now Big is stuck in another desperate two on four. And this time, the B plant isn't even available. Ents have got two players lower. Sergei's anchoring the site. Big go back to lobby, but good luck. Are they ready for Doto? Pushed aggressive in through the squeaky door. Santarez has got to check it. And he will. Clears him out. Almost a follow-up. But instead, Yampi able to get out of there. And evade capture by Searson. Alu posted up outside with this orb. Has missed the timing shot. Searson fast into the site. Has to get past Yampi. That smoke is holding Alu out of the round. But it doesn't matter. Yampi is there to send us to overtime. This first map in the big Ents Elim series. Looking to go the distance and then some. As OT is right around the corner. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
still be on my feet Forget all of my fears Cause I know my destiny I feel a champion Waking inside of me I hope you were all ready for overtime because that's exactly what Ents have given you on the back of a miraculous showing there in the second half. Get yourself a few strawberries. And you know what? Share with your friends because that's what sharing is. It's caring. Welcome back, everybody, to the Intel Extreme Masters Beijing 2020 Online. First map of the day, first map of the series, and first overtime at that. I, know, I was ready, man. I was so ready to do the sound effects. I always am. This was 14-6 in favor of Big. Nade outside. Going to find a nice bit of damage spread across the board. Alu. Still waiting to see if anyone gets boosted up and over. That's not the case. They cross everyone into secret. All with the exception of Tizian. He's lurking back in lobby. Now, Tizian's going back outside. I imagine to try and deny rotates, right, when it comes down to this retake. Because if he is trying to get across, it kind of begs the question, you know, was it worth having him back in the lobby, throwing in that tiny bit of utility into the A site to keep a fake up? So it does look like he'll just hold position here. Sears him with a missed shot onto Sergei. But there's Keto to try and remedy that. They do lose Zantares in the process. Tizian wins his late lurk out outside. And now joins the rest of the team here. Big, they get a bomb down. In a man advantage scenario. What is this? We haven't seen this yet. They're saving it for overtime, Harry. It's the only logical explanation. With Yampi gone and Alu gone, Keto on a tear. It's all onto Doto in a 1v4. And he will blindside Tabson, but surely that's where his little journey here in this clutch draws to an end. Searson on the angle. And big pick up 16. Just elusive rounds, big. Having trouble netting them on their T side. Imagine if they sweep now that they're finally an OT. Sometimes that reset, some, sometimes that kick in the butt, you know, reminds you that you're up 14 7. You're up 12 3 at the half. This should have been yours easy peasy. But Ents have worked hard to keep this game going. Sunny back in the garage. Orp on Alu once more. Big, slow, and methodical in the yard this time. Volleying red. You two coming into that A side. Will it be a main split quick with Tizian looking interested towards the hut? Sonny might have something to do here, something to say. They're swinging close. That's some good damage through the wall. Sonny lines him up, but Santaras knocks him down, and Dodo traded it after one. Surprise, he even puts that up with the damage coming through the wall. Searson can't hit his shot on the ramp flank. He's going to smoke himself off and get out of there, leaving Santaras to steal the kill and go for the ace. It might be on his plate with only Alu left alive. Oh, they throw the first man in. Searson just takes one for the team. And Santarez does get his ace. Big on to 17. And, man, they couldn't, you know, the, the most they were able to string together in that second half was two. At any one time, that was what originally put them onto 14. And now, you know, we reach OT, and that's why everything's come up in favor of Big. Santarez with a huge round. There's something to, to say about that, too, about the swing and momentum that's gone back in Big's favor right now in overtime. You often wonder, is it, does it have to do with the economy in the game? Does it have to do with Ents just running away with that second half? 
even big getting the the little break coming into overtime to talk and, and decide how they want to play this T side for Ents. There's not really much they can say, right? They can go, oh, keep doing what we're doing. You know, what we're doing is working. We have good defense. We have good reactions. Yeah, keep it up, guys. Like that's not really much of a motivating speech. Whereas big can can isolate their problems in a couple of minutes and come up with solutions. It's way harder for Ents in this position and knowing how rough their initial t-side was as well it worries me going in if big clean sweep this half as ends needs something alu gets a kill but he's traded by the orb tizzy and smoking main might get caught by dota who's had one hell of a game and he just keeps it going two on four again ends in control right now but sis and trades back bomb yet to be planted vent rotate denied there's another one there for sis and on either side but he's hopping and bounding between the two zantares cuts down sunny and dota New boy on the block has got to do it all. Ooh, there's the peek to Searson. Trying to deal with him. Trying to take this 1v1 while he's got it. And that's locked in. Now, just Santarez left to beat. Back of the site, that Molly not going to force him oh, out. He's no. up on the rafters. Another Molotov going in, but Zantarez is just waiting patiently. Doto dumping it all. Oh, with a turnaround, oh, a lot of damage Close. done, but ultimately not enough. Big go flawless in the first half of OT. A side that they managed to get two in a row on at best throughout the entire 15 rounds of that second half. And now they go flawless. Yeah. Only need one round on this CT side take this map away for ends nothing worked in that first half right it, it did also feel like they maybe weren't super warm coming into this one uh now they've had that chance to warm up but is that really going to be able to save them in a game like this then you go, need to go flawless and then take on big again on that t side it's so hard for ends Made outside's good. Tabson's playing red. Will he get flashed out? Sisson's trying to draw the attention. Deep flash coming through. Doto's ahead of it. Tabson catching him with nades. Alu can cover. Doto don't need it. He has the shot. Searson from above might get spotted, especially on those fading smokes. Sunny takes him down, and oh, it's all coming alive for Ents in this one. There you go. Ents showing they still got a little bit of fight left in the tank. Big sit on match point. Just need one round to close out Nuke. Before we head into Mirage and potentially Dust 2. But as much as Big swept it on their T side, don't count out out don't count out ends of that possibility. Quite the tongue test twister. I can't speak right now. The tongue tister. That's what they call it. Nothing like getting three rounds all T side and then going flawless for both your two teams in overtime. Alu might make it happen again, running it right back with a double kill outside. Ends have all the room in the world. And in a regular round, if you're big here, you save, but it's OT, so no holes barred. All the money in the world, worth giving it a go. This game's just following like no... No rhyme or reason. It's just, you know, what sided is it? Any sided. As now they've got a, uh, a five on two. Ed's just kind of grinding to a halt, waiting to see what big offer up. There's an engagement coming through a ramp, and I'll lose like, well, there's one ramp. <laughs> Probably said it just like that, too. If I had to guess, if I know Alu as well as I do, is the guy who taught me everything. <laughs> Look at Keto on this Ooh. rotate. They are so ready for him. The door swings close, and it's almost a lineup for Keto, but almost ain't going to cut it. Bomb down Zantares in a 1v4. And Ents are already fanning out, looking for him. Yeah, Sergei's been pretty damn good as well. Feisty stuff for Ents with two in a row on the T side. They're looking to bring it to a double overtime. Not much in their merry way, hey, Trace? Nope, not right now. Tabson just realizes he's messed up. It was at that moment he realized it. Yep. See it uh, going down live on our screens. Big, what do they got for us? Last chance before they have to run it back and do it again. Get back on that T side that they don't want to see. Warps outside. Tabson not giving the fight. Swinging with Searson behind the smoke. None of this spotted. They're boosting up in the garage. Can Tapson see anything? Yes. Oh, my. He's tapping away. He's got one. Yambi shooting out the feet from below, but Tapson doubles up. That's an incredible boost for Big. 
to find a two-man advantage in map point on Ence's pick. It could all come to a close here. Massive nade, a big nade. Oh. And then a big op shot from Searson. Takes Alu out of the round. Five on two. This would be a miracle for Ence. Oh, it's all on Dote, man. This is this is such a rough spot to be in. But he's had such a good game. What can the young gun do? Dota waiting. Tabson suspicious that he could have gotten down into secret. And Dota's just waiting to collect his one free kill. He's filled in all the stamps this time around. So he gets one for free. And there it is onto Tabson. But now they know where he is. They know where the danger lies. Dota does have the bomb, but up into Tizzy and he goes. And big, they get it locked in. They take this map away. They go 1-0 up in this series. And now we've got Mirage waiting right around the corner. We're going to see Ents try to keep this series alive, but to do so, they've got to beat big on their map pick.